the Rabbitohs, the Bennett Bowl. This is the Round 19 preview. Tonight from SEN, uh, you'll hear it from 7 p.m. So uh, SEN League have got you covered there. It is Hornby. It is Bennett. It's a big, big match. Dolphins are looking for... Well, they're looking to avoid their third straight loss. Meanwhile, the Rabbitohs looking for their sixth straight win missile. Jai Gray comes back to the NRL. He replaces the injured Latrell Mitchell at fullback. The Rabbitohs half. So you still have Jack White and Cody Walker. Uh, they've been the key to the five-game streak. I'll tell you one thing about Keon Kalamatangi. I went through his numbers. This is one of the master strokes from Ben Hornby. In the first 10 rounds when he was playing on the edge, he was running for just over 100 metres, zero tries. They won one game. Since he's moved him into lock, in five games, he scored four tries. They've won all five games, and he's running for almost 250 metres a match now. He can't have been far off in this most recent game when they, now they've brought Mitch Barnett in. Yeah. I mean, if they if they don't go for Jake Trebojevic, I think Barnett starts and Keon comes yep. straight onto that bench, yep. covers a number of positions. He's been awesome. I'd hate to see him move back to an edge. I'd just keep him there. I'll keep him there, yeah, for modern, sure. He's, he's a modern-day front rower. Yep. Locke, you've got Cam Murray to come back in. He's a modern-day front rower. Um, their, their pack, with him now in the form that he's in, is starting to shape up really nicely. And like you said, Cody Walker there, Jack White in there, even though Luttrell's not there, I'm bullish yep. on South. I, I love that. Yeah, me too. Uh, it feels like a flip of the coin, but South uh, are the outsiders. What are you really gambling with? Trey Fuller, he gets his chance behind the hammer, of course. Hammer's another player for Queensland who hasn't played a lot of football in the last month or so. Max Plath at hooker. Now, he has been named at hooker. I just wonder whether, do we see Cody Nicarima perhaps jump into hooker at some stage and Sean O'Sullivan to join him in the halves. Not quite sure. Jerry Marshall King is the man injured. Kenny Bromwich starting at lock playing. Game 250. That's a hell of a career. 250 NRL games combined with his test match performances as well for the New Zealand side. Sharks of the West Tigers tomorrow. Missile 6 p.m. on SEN League. The coverage starts. The Sharks have lost three straight and five of their past six. No, Nico. They have won 10 of their past 12 games against the Tigers. However, they did lose to them at Leichhardt Oval on the year. The Tigers have not defeated the Sharks twice in the same season for 10 years. How do you see this? Well, Trindle Atkinson, is that a pairing that can take you to the semifinals? They beat Melbourne in Melbourne. They beat Brisbane in Brisbane. So, I'm not sure. I just worry about the kicking game. Yeah. It, it's, it's, I, I actually think, and I know I say this all the time, sometimes the best gifts come badly wrapped. I, I, I actually do think this is a nice forced rest for Nico. Both yeah. physically and mentally, yep. just to just to have a have a bit of a rest. He's got that syndesmosis injury, and then come back flying. And and he's a player too, by the way. Nico Hines. The better the weather's going to get, the better he'll get. He'll he'll much prefer the dry weather footy. Dry yeah. weather footy for sure. Just on, on the sharks, we just spoke about Parramatta having too big of a pack. Sharks pack. Yeah, I don't know. In the modern game, maybe big. Maybe. Yeah, big. You big. start with Hazelton and Kafusi and bring on Royce Hunt or a Hemlin Uele. Big pack. It is a big pack. Uh, I love their back three. Sharks winger Sione Katoa. He scored seven tries in his past four games against the Tigers. Loves playing them. And uh, Ronaldo Militalo has scored 33 tries in 31 games at Shark Park. So he is loving that. Titans take on the Eels. The Titans looking to win their third straight match. Now, I get very nervous, Miss. I went through the last... 16 occasions where there's a team who's out of contention. We agree Paramount is out of contention. Oh, this is your Travellers. The Travellers. 16 from 16 have lost in this circumstance when travelling to take on a team who's still in the mix and lost by an average margin of 25. Are you it, saying Titans is still in the mix? Yes. Yes. They'll, whether they Fair are enough. or they aren't, yeah, they, ma- they, they'll think they are, right? Yeah. They'll think they are. So I just, it, it's really, really hard for coaches to send a team on the road when you've got nothing to play for. It is really, really tricky, but they've got a good record against the Titans. They have won eight of their past nine against the Titans, the Parramatta Eels, and the Titans have only won two of their past seven at Seabus Super Stadium. David Feeder, scorned, not in the, new, not in the uh, Queensland squad. Thoughts? I'll ask you one question. So Billy said... David Fafita hasn't lived up to the high standards that he set himself previously. Yep. That's the reason he didn't pick him. If that's the reason, then is your only measure of getting into a team your previous performance? For example, David Fafita hasn't lived up maybe to what he did last year, but is he not a better player than Kurt Capewell? 
or Felice Kafusi, or for example, some of these Cowboys players. Has Valentine Holmes lived up to the standard that he set himself last yeah. year? Yeah, no, that's that, that's a well. That's has Jeremiah Nenai lived up to the standard he set himself yeah. last year, or are they just in the team because they're the best options for that position? Yep. So it's either one or the other, right? Either you're living up to the standards you created for yourself, and if at any point you drop off from your highest point, then you don't get selected for Queensland because you previously set yourself lofty standards, or you're just the best player for the position. Yeah. And as a New South Welshman, I'm thrilled that David Fafita wasn't picked. I was surprised you picked Gagai because I, I know it's origin Gagai and I, I know that he puts that jumper on and he transforms. But just go back to that last game where Parramatta took on Newcastle. Mm. And Mitchell Moses, who's a quick half, there's no doubt about that, but he's not a flying centre. Twice he burnt Gagai. Skinned him. Yeah. Twice. So uh, Billy would have been... But you know what? <laughs> you know what, Rod? This bloke, Billy Slater, I, I'm just... I'm just very doubtful to to question him. I just he he studies the backside out of this game, so I, I think it'd be foolish of me to challenge what he thinks. He he he's seeing something in Fafita. Maybe there's something behind the scenes we don't know. He's seeing something in Dane Gagai. I, I'm just very very nervous to write off champions such as Billy Slater. Mm. Well, I mean statistically, you can't even compare Fafita, K Paul, and Nenai. It's not even close. Fafita is head and shoulders. On every stat, yep. tackle efficiency, run meters, tries scored, tries set up. Like, I don't know what the stat is. Like, there was a t- there was talk at one point of he puts his hands on his hips right. at different points and shows disinterest. But <sighs> look, they're still Queenslanders. Yeah, at the end of the day, <laughs> that's right. They're still Queenslanders, and this game is there. I like. I, I cannot see how Queensland win this game, but that makes me more nervous. Yeah, they always do this to us. They do every We're still time. Queenslanders. Yeah, correct. <laughs> correct. Uh, no Moses, of course. No Dejanazi for Parramatta in that match. Winger Blaze Talangi, he has scored a try in seven straight games for the Eels. Wow. Yeah, he's he's notching the tries up. Blaze Talangi. Broncos take on the Dragons. Five straight losses. The Broncos. And, and attacking-wise, their, their numbers are just through the floor. And you've got no Carrigan. Mm. You've got no Reese Walsh. Still without Reynolds. I, I think the Dragons can win, Missile. I think they can as well. It's a super hard game to pick. I mean, both are missing a litany of players. Um, who, who's a bigger loss? Ben Hunt for the Dragons or Reese Walsh for the Broncos? Well, I think it's a collective. Hunt and Lomax versus... At sewer, for that matter, versus the Bronco out. The reason I think they can win this game, similar circumstances, they turn up to Penrith. In origin time, Penrith similarly had a lot of players out, yep. and they won the game yep. with a similar squad. I feel they can go up to Suncorp and win the game, but it's a massive game. If the Broncos have got any ambitions of going back to a grand final, they've got to find a way with the backup players to get the job done. Seals take on the Knights. The Seagulls have won nine of their past 11 games against the Knights at Four Pines Park. The Knights have won four of their past five away games, so they've been good on the road. Um, Tommy Trebojevic goes back to fullback. Cool has suffered a knee injury. And the Seals are going to have halfback Jamie Humphreys to make his NRL debut, who came through as a number nine. That's exciting. He has signed with South Sydney. He's going to join Wayne Bennett at South Sydney. Did not know that. Yeah. Question for you. So, uh, Cool played fullback last week without any reps under the belt Mm. and suffered an injury. Lehi Hopawadi played all those games at fullback when Tom Trebojevic was out. Then once Tom Trebojevic comes back, they shift Hopawadi to the bench, shift Cooler to fullback and Trebojevic to centre. Mm. When they could have just kept the team the same the whole time and left Cooler at fullback or put Hopawadi at fullback and left Cooler and Tommy in the centres. Yeah, I don't... I don't, what, what, I don't what's the thinking there? I don't know. I don't and then what's the thinking of oh, Tom Trebojevic is you know, going to play centre to, I guess, nurse him back in? Is one game enough? I, so, no, so I, I'm, I, I know a lot of people make big judgments about one game. I know he was really quiet last week. I'm a believer in him playing at least some part of the game at centre. Yeah. Just because he's, he's just such a big body, gangly body. And and he looked, he looked encumbered Yeah. last weekend. Yeah. So centre, centre, there's nowhere near the demands on a centre than there is at fullback. In saying that, He's so lethal around. So I actually like the idea of maybe defending him in the centres, easier easier on the body. And then when you get up there, slide him back to fullback and, and have a crack. Uh, that's what I'll be doing. But um, we'll see how that plays out. 
No Ponga, Best or Gagai. So Best is a big out. Fletcher Sharp comes in at fullback for Carla Ponga. And Jackson Hastings will play game 100. Coming up, uh, plenty of sport to get through, including uh, the Euros. That's all uh, uh, starting to fire up. We've got a finalist now, England, who will be taking on Spain. This is the run home with Joel and the missile. We've got uh, Matty Johns not too far away as well. Breaking back with more.